for now. In the starting blocks now, a 32-year-old gymnastics coach from Berkeley, California, Cisco Gonzalez. Gymnasts have done well, Jimmy, but what really seems to come into play is agility. Agility and balance are two really key factors, and agility's really tested on that quad step. Looking pretty good, two-step technique through the quad steps, through it, no problem, onto the log grip. Trying to find his grip there, not a lot of time to size it up. Doesn't look like his legs are on tight, but he is through. Onto the bridge of blades. Let's see how the gymnast fares. And he's through now. It's a big jump here to the rope hang. As a gymnast should be familiar with the trampoline, yet still takes his time to test it out. Oh, oh, onto the jump hang by the tips of his fingers and going over the top. Oh, he lost a shoe. It's not going to be easy to finish this course with only one shoe, Matt. Onto the jumping bars, he takes the other shoe off and his socks. How will that impact him on the warped wall? The gymnast looking real comfortable on the jumping bars, but time has been ticking off with his preparation. Remember, he needs to be a minute 35.78 to knock out Matt Willis and make the top 30. Now he's on to the warped wall. He only has three tries. We've seen it take down some phenomenal athletes. Let's see how he does with no shoes on. Oh, not even close, well short of the top. Could it be hard to not only get your step down there, but just to have the confidence to plant your foot firmly with no shoe on? Especially with the curve, you can hurt a toe there, and he so doesn't close. make it again. The fans are cheering him on, trying to give Cisco the energy. 32 years old, this would be impressive. Sizing it up now, taking his time. Just short of the warped wall. But I gotta say, he made it through the jump hang. Looked like he might have come close to touching out. All in all, a great run for Cisco Gonzalez. Cisco's shoeless effort is good news for Matt Willis. The Denver Bronco can breathe again. He's still the man in the hot seat, but for now, he remains.